All right, quick tip for you. Don't seek counsel from false prophets. So when you get into business and you're an entrepreneur, everybody's gonna have an opinion just like every other parts of your life, right? And uh, when everyone has an opinion, we always have to remember this typical saying of opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, right? And the thing is, for these false prophets are the kind of people that are gonna try and bring you down. They're, they're, they don't want to see you succeed because it makes them feel insecure and in, in fear for what they're doing in life, right? People like to feel like they're empowered or they're you know, more important. So these false prophets are going to give you bad advice. So you got to be very, very conscious of who you're paying attention to. And a quick story about this. I was in a room in a mastermind that I paid to be in that room. I've invested every since 2009 up until now. Starting in 2009, I've invested any, at minimum $25,000 a year just to be in a room with the right people so I can learn from these guys. Now, that there's a lot of, not all rooms are created equal, what I've learned over these years. And one story that I want to talk about was I had a business idea that a new product that we wanted to launch for our company. I, I was so excited about it. I did all the research i did all the market research i did all of the information like built out the, the whole structure on the marketing plan for it and everything we were ready to go and i come into this mastermind meeting with all these pieces and i sat there and said and outlined my entire plan and i had this guy that I, was new to the room this was his first meeting real big boastful guy right he you know he was the one who loved to be heard and ever had an opinion on everything and he came to me and he basically, I didn't know who he was at the time, and he just kept telling me everything I was talking about. He just kept putting me down and saying, that's not gonna work, and this is gonna happen, and that's gonna happen. And he basically said, he looked at me and he goes, you're gonna be out of business within a year if you do this. And so I looked at him and I said, in my polite, nice tone, who the fuck are you? And uh, when I said that to him, the room kind of got quiet because I didn't realize who this guy was, and he was just kind of driving me just grinding me, right? And not being very, very nice. So I decided to meet, you know, his his words with those words. And what I learned real quick from that time is all this advice, what's interesting about this is that guy is no longer in business in the same industry. We went on to launch this product in this business and sold over sold over a million dollars within uh, two months of doing it, launching the company. And we went on to sell that company as well. So the business did really, really well. But if I would have taken this guy's advice and it was his own insecurities and come to find out things later down the road that were causing him to really just bash me. He was more concerned about building his ego and building his status in a room since he was new in it than he was about giving me any real honest advice and helping me. So that's kind of one example where I chose not to take the advice from a false prophet. Right? And now there's times too where you have to look back and you also have to understand that you got to take advice. And others, the other side of that was a mentor of mine and now good friend gave me some advice where he, you know, you go into these meetings, we go into these masterminds and we're, we're vulnerable, explaining what we're trying to do and we're trusting that these people are going to help us. And another guy that became a mentor and a good friend gave me the advice of, hey, look, after that same meeting because you can't take what everyone tells you and change your business. You know, you can't take all that stuff to heart. What you have to do is believe in your mission, believe in your goal, believe in, in, in your vision that you have for the business you're growing. Take that advice to make your vision better. And so there's two types of advice that I got that day. One was from a guy who was just telling me how bad my idea was that and he ended up being wrong. And then the other guy who was saying, hey, look, man, you're going to get a lot of advice in business. But what you need to do is make your vision better with that advice, not completely cancel what you're trying to do and not do what you're going to do. So anyways, be very, very cautious of the advice that you that you actually act on. Right. And what I'd love to kind of pass along and pay forward was the exact advice I got. You're going to get a lot of people with opinions. Don't take those opinions and change your vision. Take those opinions to make your vision better and you will be success. You'll be set up in the proper manner for success and you won't constantly play the game of like questioning yourself because you're so dialed in on your vision and the advice and opinions you get is to help you make it better. So anyways, just wanted to impart that uh, knowledge on you that I was fortunate to get back in the day and uh, hope that helps.